Hudson Construction Workshop, take the rail car to Terry Town. Hmm. The Grayson. There's a well here as well. Ah, here that they build those for you guys. Mm. Ah. Setari, it looks like you're a harder work. Uh, who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We are doing critical work that can be done elsewhere, anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Uh... Not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Hudson Construction. <laughs> Hudson Construction is the number one construction company. Like the only one. Yeah, it's number one. And they don't only do buildings like the ones at local landing. They also build machinery, like the Skyville Towers. Amazing. And just wait until you hear about their latest invasion. The balloon? Mm. This balloon. Can you believe it was made using Zona devices? Eh? Pura has taken a keen interest in all the Zona devices found here. So she asks Hudson to make this balloon for the Zona survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. Uh, anyway, I was, as I was saying, we do critical work here. Uh... No civilians allowed. Critical work. Oh. More Zona artifacts fall here than anywhere else. Uh, it's completely unrivaled. Mm. Uh, look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. Uh, there's one in Kakariko, and I don't remember if I another on the surface. To someone on the Zona survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. Um, I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them some space. Ooh. If you're headed to Terry Town, the rail car to the east is the quickest route. Oh, they made it. Okay. Uh, oh, they are here. Uh, now they do kart races. Ah, this is a quest. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to them afterwards. Who are you? And beat. No. Same song. Uh, time sure goes quick when you're working. Oh, I'm sure I ask HQ to send a guard to come help. Oh, whatever. The name is Senso. I'm the leader of Yono the Onoboko boys here at Hudson Construction. Tasks with clearing out this area. Uh, so, even you guys being hired through Yonobo, you still have to be sons. Mm. This place is gathering a lot of tension. I heard it's being referred to as the Zonis Treasure Trove. And there's still more stuff falling from the sky. It's not showing any signs of slowing. Hudson Construction? Wait, you don't know Hudson Construction? So you weren't sent here to help? As the leader of the Yonoboko workers out here, I've sworn to keep my mouth shut. Oh. You're not getting nothing out of me, Yonoboko. Wait, you don't know Yonoboko? Uh, so you weren't sent here to help? If you head northwest from here, you hear Gon City and your Noboko is hold it as leader of the Noboko workers taking on the task of clearing this place for Hudson construction. I've sworn to keep my mouth shut. You're not getting nothing out of me. But come on, tell me what a Noboko is. Wouldn't be Isn't about this. Oh well okay, let's see this question. Oh, ah, are you interested in this too? Yeah, I was going to use it. Oh. Look at this, it seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. Uh. 
But what is it? And where did it fall from? Secret Oh yeah, where did it fall from? Uh, map. Okay, we have some Sokala. So that's where everything is falling from. Okay, let's see what are the secrets you think. <laughs> and there's two stuff for me to find. Huh? That's what those things are. Yep. There are zoning devices inside this thing. I think, yes, I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. Uh, and contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terry Town. Kakariko village in the clue the south of here has one. And there's one to the southwest to a uh, Dig Dug Bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Uh. Could it be that the types of zonal devices inside each area's contraptions are different. Ah. Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. Uh, but before that, I feel the need to ceremonially award you for your big discovery. Okay. Ah. I found it while investigating some falling ruins. It's where it was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plane in Kakariko village, that's to the south of here in the Kluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Uh. Oh, it's more... I didn't have one yet. A power zone 9 device that spins quickly and is best suited for flat surfaces. It doesn't handle hills or even bumps very well. Alright. Uh, that was all. Yep. Hmm. Uh, for real car repairs and reconfigurations, please see Caretaker Grayson. Caretaker Grayson? Yeah. <laughs> Sun and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terry Town? If you're going there, the real car right in front of you should come in handy. You don't remember me. Damn. We built this town. Well. Yeah, I guess if we didn't come here, Hudson would eventually finish it by himself. Or maybe call for help and then come back to finish. Yeah, the rail car. It's a suspended cart that will take you from this workshop to Terry Town, like Sun and Dun. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whatever you like. Doesn't spend batteries. Uh, if you want to move or stop the rail car, just track it directly. Terry Town. You see the buildings atop the cliff. That's Terry Town. That's where the business desk is for Hudson Construction, where I work. Uh -huh. Hudson Construction is a company that handled assembly of local landing and skyville towers, to name a few. President Hudson is always saying things like, there's nothing I can make. Anywho, if you are headed to Terry Town, use the real car. Mm. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. There's now most of them can de deconstruct what they've done. So my brother Pallison started a business to do it for them. Mm. He gets it done, son and done. Give it a shot sometime. Oh, great. I expect it to be faster. That's weird. Should it be that slow? Better. 
Mm, yeah, and I think it would be faster than if I had waited for it to just go there. Hmm. And I never thought about what if I attach a rocket to a moving contraption? Well, there, I will want to use the rail car. That's what I'm doing. Ah. There's a fee for that. You are free to use it once you pay up. Hey, you're the rich guy? You, your name doesn't any son. For your car repairs and reconfiguration, please see Kartaker Hagi. What the hell do you want? Why do you have that here? I probably will need that. Uh, I thought it might be valuable when I pick it up, but these weird rocks give me the creeps. Gotta hurry and find some sucker too. Okay. Heading to the construction site, yeah? There's more fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. It's 20 ropes, no exceptions, but you only need to pay once. No, I can just jump from here. One fee, unlimited rides. That's a bargain. How about it? The rail car. Ooh. This president's Hudson's joy, pride and joy. An amazing contraption connecting Terry Town to the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately. Falling things falling down from the sky right in, into the construction site. Hudson has turned into quite an inventor. Best I can tell, he takes what falls out from out the sky and experiments until he makes something new. Ah. The rail car is the perfect example. So it's so simple to control that anyone can do it. Just give it a whack. What's that rock? Oh, we're oh, interested in that rock. I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole I mean, I took it as a memento. Yeah, for all you know, that could be right, radioactive <laughs> and you die. But if you're interested, I would consider selling it for you a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Not for that price. In that case, how about 80 rupees? That's a one time only deal, just for you. I'll take it. Uh, can you go lower? From my experience, This will probably go bad for me, and you know, I'll have to pay the 100 afterwards. Rock for sale. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Somebody saved me from being ripped off. Mm. Uh, are you trying to sell random junk, junk to outrageous prices for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. No, I say it's aluminum stone. I cost 60. No, 50 rupees are more than fair price. No, but I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have. Okay, no need to for this turn wife look. Well, what do you say? It's a real deal. It's just 50 rupees. I'll pass. Oh. Of course he isn't going to buy after you insulted him with such high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live here in peace. Ah, there he is. <laughs> uh, if you do anything to harm the beautiful vision, you won't get away with it. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, but I, I'll buy that afterwards. Oh, but you guys got rid of some... Oh. You guys got rid of some of the beauties. Oh, maybe you guys never got to build them on your own. So worried. You're only thinking it. Uh, we're glad you guys got together. Oh. Uh, just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're only thinking it. I thought, though I do understand, I know you're worried about Metso moving. Monara told me that Metzl has been acting real cheerful lately. 
I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Ah, oh. uh, they, their daughter. He didn't get a Ganondorf song. Please, if you keep acting like this, you will only make it more difficult for Madison to live. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for Aragirudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. You're right, of course. It's a special journey and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. Can I build a home here? But I'm so sorry, we're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you? Ah, oh. you remember me? Look who it is, it sure has been a while. Ah, so I know you guys. Why doesn't Grayson know me? If you too know me, I I probably attend it to the wedding. You know, thanks to you, Terry Town is doing real good. Nowadays, thanks to me, so I did help you guys build this place. Was it that irrelevant for Grayson's life? Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over the, to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. <laughs> and my little Madson. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronso. But don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Metsu. Yeah, just don't realize he's quite more eloquent now. What I'm going to do... We were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, it's sun and done. And here I am, president of the company, so I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. Decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child? I mentioned her earlier, we have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful, all the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is... well... Soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Oh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see? Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we never saw any child Gerudo being raised outside. Some were being raised by their mothers that came back. And some were being raised by their grandmothers. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, it's fine. What about you? The girl, the, okay. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. And how does someone from Gerudo Town know they were born? I've been told that for Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Oh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave. But I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too while we prepare Madison for the move. She is so busy, she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. So that's me. Well, I'm mostly playing the Zeldas. I went through Breath of the Wild, then from the first one up to Majora's Mask in order, and then I stopped to play this one. But I also play some other things. I don't have much time, so I 
didn't play many other games. Uh, the Gerudo region doesn't get rain, so she won't need any of her rain gear. It's hot during the day, of course, but the nights are get cold. I should pack some warm things. Oh. I'm sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before her big move. She's been doing so much between making friends with the villagers here and staying for her in her room. I want to support her however I can. <laughs> Once she's off on her journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. Alright. No, I've played a little bit of Warcraft a long time ago, but just the free account up to level 20, right? Uh, that's the company's storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside. Can I see through the window? Oh. So, you got a chance to talk to with President Hudson, huh? I was just out here waiting my turn to go chat with him, but I ended up falling asleep, oh. even if it was dead. I came to help clear out the zoning devices and ruins that fell all over the workshop. I heard they could use a hand, but I'm still pretty tired. I think I'll take another little nap before I introduce myself. Ah, you're the guy that the other one was waiting for. No, I stream weekly. I try to go every every saturday and usually tuesday or wednesday i play a, a bit of genshin ah okay i see how she pulls after her father she's more than five right it has been more than five years since the previous game then uh I guess we can say she's less than 10, but we can be sure. <laughs> good morning is Savota. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Oh. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. Ah, the language is also called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I made it my mission to memorize as many words as I can. I'm getting tired, so I have to stay to say goodnight now. But when I wake up, I'm going to give a lesson to Granny Monari. Granny Monari. Uh, oh yeah, Ronson talked about her mother, but I didn't know who she was. You should come with me if you're interested. After some instructions from me, you'll be able to you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Well then, see you later. Uh, this looks like some notes Madison wrote for her movie, for her move. First page. Note number one: Say the Gerudo greetings clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning, Sabota. Not Sabota. Ah, uh, boys are vo, not b, no b. Grandma is Vaba. Va, v and b. So mean. Uh, thank you, Istraxo. No number two, the chief's pet is special. Huh. Uh, the chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special saint seal. She can read people's fortunes. No number three, no talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mama says it's Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Vo before I get there. 
Note number four, must not, I must, 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 must not cry, no crying. Ah, huh. I actually was looking for a staircase when I came in here. Yeah, I think my Discord is just the Super Geek Bros, like the like the name of the channel. Builders, I guess, probably. Do I have any? Good. Uh, yeah, hearts. I'm still dying too easily. Here was this where we planned to meet? I'm sure it was outside. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, uh, the inn. Oh, that isn't right. Oh, they just go 24 7 here. Break down, zip, zang, shop for best. You guys won't remember me, will you? Whatever you need. Welcome to the general store, operated by Hudson Construction. You know us by our motto, son and done. Am I right that it is your first time in our shop? Well, this one, yes. Oh. Did you come because you heard we started carrying monster extract? No. That's right, I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be useful things you can attach to arrows for an uh, extra little extra wound. but a contact of mine helped me search monster extract and now i have a sideline in that too mm. if you're interested i can hook you up son and done no I'm good uh if you stick things together that you don't you didn't mean to try talking to palisson over there you have them separated in a gif and return them to you. No sweat. Son and done. Um, 44. Yeah, oh. but I'm always trying to save them, so better get them. Uh, very generous of you to clean up my stock. I better put an order for more. What's up? Break it down, son and done. Sir, have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon or shield? What? That's the time to tap me. Pelison here at the break apart shop. Uh, faster than you can blink, zip zap, you'll be back to how it was before. Ooh. It cost you, just cost 20 rupees. That's kind, kind of cheap for it. You want to break something down? Uh, break one now? You curious how I do it? I figured out how to break things apart by disassembling stuff I didn't need anymore here in my workshop. What? Only I, the great Pelison, am capable of this craft. If you got something attached to something else, I can break them apart and return them to their original state. Ah. Just cost 20 rupees. No, goodbye. What? Whoever attached something by mistake, just leave to the great Pelison to undo what you did. Uh, I guess he'll probably just leave it on the floor here, so I don't end up with more weapons, for example, that I can carry. <laughs> That's interesting. I put a bokoblin here. What? I'll be able to capture a bokoblin? Why? Hello there, you. 
My lips do curl into a green, uh, the honor of bumping into you again. And on such a handsome night too. You met again with my younger brother, Coltley, didn't you? I can smell it. Uh, oh yeah, you actually told me to come find you if I need help finding him. He's a bit eccentric, you are one to say. I know, I know. But I hope you find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, uh, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from most parts, you see. I travel about selling them from my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelette, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I, at last, can make my real dream make real a dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a th thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. I am a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What is your dream? The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a weak, weak Kilton. Uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, what? Monsters? Disgusting. But here you are so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can deny. But they are also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful, tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in the in all the land, Hudson. <laughs> he who, uh, as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has seen before. Mm. I'll not be able to capture a book in my house. Man, I'm worried about this guy. What is this? Did my house... Where did my house go? Did it run off somewhere? Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, this won't do. He killed... What's his name? Bud's place. What is this? Uh, is this really Terry Town? Uh. Oh, my. Another traveler. Terry Town has grown quite popular after all. Uh, all of... That is th thanks to President Hudson. I'm so very grateful. Hudson. Talking about the President of Hudson Construction, he helped build this town. See that cut out? That's Hudson. Not the real Hudson, of course. But my husband can always tell, and sometimes he will greet the sign like it's the man himself. I'm friends with Hudson's whole family. Ah! You are Granny Monari. Okay, so you are not her actual granny. Uh, I'm especially fond of their only daughter, Madison. What a dear. Ah. Maybe late, but I'm wide awake. I decided to take a little stroll until it's time to meet my wife. Now then, where do we decide to meet? That's important. Come on. Uh, well, but since she's here, I think it's almost time they meet. Huh, I, by the time, I don't think it's worth going to sleep, but, hey, hmm, it's a bit different, isn't it? Oh, oh customer, how interesting that you should arrive at this particular time. To seek me out at this time of day, if I may dare to assume, you must be a highland of the nocturnal variety, yes? And this is a village where many different folks gather. I offer 
pleasant sleep to all, regardless of their rank or where they come from. By the mercy of the goddess Hylia. Oh. O oh, humble servant, led here by destiny, are you in need of place of respite? Regular bed, a water bed? It is a special bed that ensures the best sleep possible by maintaining your posture according to your anatomy. Compared to a regular bed, it offers you your mind and body an awakening that is very vital indeed. Farewell. Ah. The mercy of the goddess Hylia, I hope you will have a most pleasant journey. Wasn't I the one who called you for the wedding? Ah, you've grown as well. Hey, Em. Uh, I'm kind of busy trying to outwit foe. <laughs> uh, I have to say focus. Usually I train with Madsome, but uh, she says she had an errand to take care of today. Ah. It's less than time. Sabota, I'm about to go give a lesson to Granny Monari. You should come too. After some instruction, instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Sun and done. Quick and quality blink, and we're done. Dream homes, the envy of every sun. Oh my, excuse me? Do you have business with Hudson Construction? Unfortunately, Hudson and Madison are a little busy. Busy? Mm -hmm. Just between you and me, Madison is going around secretly teaching your the words to the folks in town. Why does it have to be secret? What's wrong with she teaching, teaching Gerudo? Why you ask? Because she wants to make her mother run so happy. I know she's secretly trying, studying by herself late into the night. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is none of my business. Please forget everything I just said. Okay. Uh, it's less on time. Great Monari, Savota. Oh my, you're in good mood today, Matson. Is it time for another lesson? Yeah, of course, it's a special occasion. It's true. Because a new student is joining the class. Okay, now pay attention. Uh, Granny Monari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Granny in Gerudo, uh, what was it? Baba, Vada, Baba. Ding, 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 that's right. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yes, Bamba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker on here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So, if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay. But I need to think of a way to help Papa. Mm. I've got it. Papa is always so busy. So I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the real car to the job site where he does all his work. Uh, I... Oh, Madison, she had to grow up too quickly. At her age, which is... She should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat, trying to make sure they're happy. Ah, there she is. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy uh, was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Uh, so I'll have to pay him. I was going to hold it until I really had to take something out there. Uh, where did Hudson go? I want to ride the real car so I can get to Pop's construction uh, site and help him get his work done. But I forgot the guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. I never had to pay until he took over. Guys, I'm gonna have to hop aboard the real car without him noticing. 
But how am I going to do that all by myself? Uh, what I need is someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Okay, so we don't have to pay him. Ah, mm. uh, stop that. This rock belongs to me. I'm not going to give it away for free. But if you really want it, I will consider selling it to you. Uh, uh, ah. Uh, do I have to hide you all the way there or just what? No, okay. Ah, the cutouts too. <laughs> the cutouts too. Don't I have some free weapon? Ah, I can't. Damn it. I thought I would be able to. Oh, I. Sorry. But the construction company is still using that cutout. There are a few others I was going to throw out for. They are in the company storehouse. And you could take them. However, the door seems to be stuck and it can be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking inside. Yeah, yeah, got it. I think that's probably. Uh, a cave. Yeah. Discovery Very down tunnel No, I don't have bolt It broke as well Okay, that's the place. Uh. I can, great. Yeah. President has some guster. Great. Totally worth it. The door opened to the outside as well. Oh, thank you. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So a crowd was blocking the door? Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I just moved this out back so they can go block the door again. <laughs> you know, that should do it. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out. You're welcome to use them too. Nobody knows that you can pull doors. They only push. All right. That good enough. That works. I'm going to try the car. Uh, if I'm going to get Papa's job sign and help him out, I forgot to go, let me run for this good morning. I found which you and the good mostly. I'm going to do that. I wish I could get someone to maybe cover his eyes for me. You can go now, I think. Where's the car? Uh, uh Mister, did you do that? But the real car isn't where it should be. It's, I needed to. So I can get to Papa's construction site and help him. Uh, I hope it doesn't vanish. Mm, great, that didn't vanish. Let's go. Mister, did you do that? Yeah. Kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. Yeah, he didn't see me. I did it. My mission was a success. 
Yay, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my mission. Block my view. <laughs> okay, Hudson, Hudson, there. I should have looked for him before she comes here. Hey, you didn't mention you were coming here too, mister. It's strange, Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Messon. And well, I came up with this. The old town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Metzel her own special air balloon. What's different about this one? But I want to make it really special, something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen some lions around here. I could use them to make a dye. But I get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. So anybody can make dyes. So why do I need to go to that shop in Hateno if I want to change my clothes? But for me to dye something this size, I need 10 of them. You need some lions, Papa. Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make finding them my new mission. I appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. So the lions are quite rare. I'm not even sure uh, where to find them. Don't worry, I've seen a sun lion before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. Sky, huh? Um, bright yellow sun lions. You know, if it was attached to those ruins that fell from up above, then maybe there's a flower field in the sky. Here's a taste of the lion. Mm. That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected 10 of them. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I have no problem dyeing the balloon, the color of the sun. Uh, I wasn't any happy at all. I failed my mission. That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? You know, why don't you help me with that? I will, I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Mm -hmm. Quick, quality blink, we're done. That's why every son chooses a Hudson construction. Huh. Uh, huh. Unless it's done, a morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Oh. Hudson. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Well, oh. I'll meet her there. Let's all get, go together then. He met some special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Hmm. Huh. Huh. Wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at this. At that. Uh, this will always be the same time of day. The sun is waking up. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you are in Gerudo Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only 
distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. You'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Papa, your present made me very happy. Oh. And so, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any... Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little medicine, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Oh, it's a guard. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me, I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry, you can go. Go become a wonderful vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in your little town sometime. When I do, let's play a game. Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. I'm going to become a great vi like mama. And I'll meet a wonderful bow like Papa. Hi. Savork, every son. Oh. Ronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now... This is start of new life for us too. Mm? Let's pull our straps together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. Uh, okay, I am ready. Oh. oh, sorry about that, you know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those sandalines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. And this is from me. Okay, good. You've already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Girl of the Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vol aren't allowed in Girl of the Town? Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess it slipped my mind. You'll find a way. <laughs> now, I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Ah, killed him. <laughs> mm. 